Oh my gosh, you guys, I have an amazing video for you guys today. My buddy came to me in my clan. He got a three crown draw. So we're going to go over that and then we're going to also get into the spooky mini collection global tournament. That's a mouthful. Let's get into it. So my buddy came to me, let me just start this up, my buddy came to me, he said, dude, he started calling me up, he was like, dude, check the, have you ever seen this happen? And I'm like, what, dude, just relax, chill out, okay. And he's like, dude, have you ever seen this happen? And I'm like, <laughs> let me, let me see, let me watch, let me see it. So, check this out, so this is absolutely insane, kind of cool, um, while we start to the, get to the start of this match, the update's here, obviously. Uh, you guys have downloaded, you guys have started playing on it. We're going to get into the Spooky Town Mini Collection Tournament, and I'm going to pick a deck, and we're going to roll with that. But check this match out. So he starts out, obviously, um, against Diablo here, rocking his uh, his Witch Balloon deck. He plays Witch. He's a, he's a level 10. He's, play, he's, he's frustrated, obviously, because he plays level 11s all the time, which you guys get. You guys get that, okay? So he's running up against this giant deck here. Um, he's got Musketeer. He's rolling his Witch. Dies a slow and horrible death right there which that makes sense very unfortunate but he does have baby D out there dark goblin is getting a ton of work done on this tower which is very unfortunate for him and it looks like at this point in the match he's already towered down pretty much he's down to 478 which is very unfortunate for him but I think oh my gosh check this out this is so cool this is so cool so obviously just waiting for a little bit um <laughs> He launches it, puts his lumberjack in there, which is a great defense, but he dropped the witch just a little bit slow, in my opinion. Should have dropped it a little bit quicker. Then he would have stopped all of that lumberjack damage. That's okay. So he throws his balloon down. Pretty aggressive on the balloon play. Ready to play. No big deal. He knows he's got two counters in the opponent's hand, but he does drop the sneaky deaky freeze. That freeze is absolutely insane, by the way. I'm going to show you this deck here in a minute, after, if, if we have time. After the the tournament challenge and just show you exactly how strong that stupid thing is. Anyway, so, puts his balloon down there, able to take a tower down, which is awesome for him, obviously. We got a minute left in the match, and this thing's going nuts, okay? So, basically one tower, it's basically one to one at this point, in my opinion, because he's got fireball, the opponent's got fireball and arrows, able to take that tower out with no problems whatsoever. So. Puts down his uh, Lumberjack, the opponent does, I think, kind of a bad Lumberjack in my opinion. But that's okay. That's besides the point. I don't play very well. The funny thing is, this level 11 only has like a level 9 Dark Goblin, but he's got maxed out Minion Horde, which is crazy. So he's obviously been asking for like tons of Minion Hordes, which is cool, I guess. Um, able to get both towers down to very dangerous range. The Lumberjack, go ahead and take that tower out just to get it to even to overtime right now. And things are looking pretty dang grim, in my opinion, for my buddy here, Chucker Hunter. Um, but he does have the sneaky balloon. He puts everything, all his eggs in one basket because he has 10 seconds. He has to get that tower down. Go ahead, he does the freeze thing, of course, which makes sense. He does the freeze thing, <laughs> which, I mean, dude, no matter what, dude, you're pretty much going to get a tower when you freeze at these levels, especially if you catch your opponent off guard. Okay, this is it. This is where we're going in. Okay, this is this is happening right here. Balloon in the pocket. Giant and minions. Okay, he's got the E-Wiz coming down. Minions taking shots on there. The E-Wiz is what seals the deal for him. They get the three. I didn't even know it was like... You know the timing that has to happen to get a three crown draw? It's absolutely absurd, okay? I don't know, like, how... Per I've watched people on YouTube, like, actually try to get the three crown draw and, like, struggle so hard to get it, but they can't get it, even though they're, like, playing battle after battle after battle trying to get this thing. And so it's absolutely insane the timing that would ha it would take to actually get three crowns at the same time. I mean, but in the defense of all that is good and evil, there's been probably three or four times when I've gotten a crown in overtime at the same time that my opponent has gotten a crown. And I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that have done that, but let me know in the comments how many of you guys have gotten a three crown draw. I'm kind of curious to see how many three crown draws are actually out there and how many people have done 
this incredible feat, what I, what I consider to be a very incredible feat. So let me know in the comments if you guys have done this. We're going to watch this one more time in slow-mo here just because I want to see this one more time really slow and then we'll get into the global tournament. This is crazy. So he puts his balloon down here. Minions, I think, I think the minions and the E-Wiz are what does the final blows here. Let me look really closely. So he does go ahead, he zaps that. Minions are the ones, I don't even think the giant gets to the tower. Oh, a giant gets one shot. It is the minions and the E-Wiz because I don't think, maybe the balloon dropped a bomb. That was so close, I can't even tell you. I don't even know. That is crazy. Oh well, let's get into this <laughs> Spooky Town Mini Collection Tournament. We have five wins. This is our deck. Let's see, I love this animation. <laughs> so cool. So we do got Hog, we got Bowler, we got Balloon, we got Freeze. So I think I'm gonna make a Balloon Freeze deck just because I think that's gonna be the coolest. Um, we're gonna throw in Lumberjack, Balloon, Freeze. <laughs> Is that mean? That's mean, I think. That is mean. We'll use our Dark Goblin. Ooh, Flying Machine's kind of fun. Zap's kind of fun. Let's use Zap. Uh, let's go... Actually, let's go Goblin Gang. I wish I had my guards. I need Goblin Gang. And I need some some big old... Uh, I need some splash damage. Let's go... We'll use Bowler. I'm just throwing this deck together, you guys. This is, this is happening. And then I think I need some air, so I might throw minions in there. Let me think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get some air in there. Let's throw minions in just to see what we can do with that. I like that. I like that. Let's get into it. <laughs> this is so cool. So you just have to make, I think the thing that I like about this is there's gonna be a lot of different decks that you don't normally, <sighs> ooh, the new arena, of course. So awesome. There's gonna be a lot of decks that uh, are in there that you don't normally get to see. So that's kind of cool. So let's see if he has Zap or anything. It doesn't look like he has Zap, but he does have that, uh, what do you call that thing? Oh, 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 yes, 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 take that out. There we go. Uh, Dark Goblin should do a bit of damage, at least, um, which is awesome. And I really want to get that Lumberjack Balloon down there. Hopefully I can get that thing rocking and rolling. He does have the... Uh, Obviously the Goblin Barrel. This is cool. This is cool. So let's go Lumberjack Balloon right now. And hopefully we can catch him off guard with something. Hopefully he doesn't have some sort of a building or anything. And it looks like, yeah, we are going to be able to get a freeze on that. So let's freeze that thing. We should be able to get quite a... Well, I mean, that's tower down pretty much, right? Get that! Get that! Yes! Okay, so we did get the Executioner. Okay, I'm just going to let that Executioner go. Because we probably need the elixir we're down quite a bit on elixir although he did use the fireball so there is that let's see what he starts up with hopefully I imagine he's gonna start with a giant skeleton in the back somewhere I'm gonna just split up my goblin gang I should have saved my, I need my goblin gang for his banda I really do but that's okay those two goblins if he doesn't do anything about them will go ahead that will take out the tower so we're gonna go minions up here come on baby Oh yes, I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to do that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh crap. Do those things... That bar bar that uh, goblin barrel is actually pretty awesome sometimes. Um, I think the talk around the field is they might be doing... Um, you know, you remember when they had the goblin barrel when they actually did... When it did um, damage as soon as it hit the tower? They may bring that back. I, I, I just heard from a few different places. I don't... It's not like super legit like story, but... They may bring that back, which would be really cool. Um, I'm not sure how well this deck is going to actually perform. Um, especially against... Okay, so we got to go here, here, here. That was a good play on his part. That Goblin Barrel can be sneaky at times. You know, that sucks. I kind of committed too much Elixir. I think my whole everything's going to die slow and horrible death right there, which that makes sense. Let's go here. And then we'll go Lumberjack up on that action. Oh, he missed the arrows. That was very unfortunate for him. So we are going to go with a balloon right now. Oh, that sucks. Good job on his part. Good job. Well played on his part. I don't know if we actually might... Oh, wow. So he really didn't want that balloon to get to the tower, which... You got to give it to the guy. I wouldn't want the balloon to get to the tower either. <laughs> so let's go here. He could arrow that, but I don't think he's gonna. Yeah, he doesn't have enough elixir. He did just use the balloon. That worked out decently. Got our first match in the bag. 
Uh, let's get one more match up there. I kind of want to do one more just with this deck, just to see how viable it is. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. I forgot we get rewards and stuff for these things. <laughs> I don't know. I was ready to get... Ooh, let's see if we can get a chest to open up, actually, this time. That would be fantastic. So we got the Lumberjack, we got the Balloon, we got the Freeze, we got the Meta deck, basically. That's what we're rolling with. So he's gonna start off with a Furnace in the back. I'm just gonna hit him real hard. Hopefully get some sort of punishment in his face. He does miss the Inferno Dragon, which that is very, or the Inferno Tower, which is very unfortunate for him. We are able to distract. We still have a Lumberjack alive. I wonder if I freeze this. Do you think I can three crown this guy right here, right now? I don't know. I don't think I could. Oh my gosh. Wow, this might be a pretty fast game, boys and girls. <laughs> I could almost zap him out at this point. I'm going to go bowler right here just to... Oh wow, that was a really bad play on his part. I feel horrible. But I think I am going to go ahead and try for the three crown right away just so we can lock this match up. This is going to be the quickest match in the history of all matches, you guys. So what I'm going to do is, as soon as that thing crosses the bridge... He's got to give up, right? Like, please just give up. Let's, let's just end this misery. Oh, so he's not going to give up. So he's going to definitely go ahead and go for it. That's okay. I'm going to go balloon. Ah, I can't go balloon. All I got to do is get the balloon to the tower, and I don't think... Oh, he does have his Inferno Tower. So let's go minions. Let's actually set up a push. Let's actually act like we're going to play this game. There you go. Let's see what he can do with that. We'll go Goblin Gang. Oh, flip. Flip. I'm trying to get this three crown here. How much damage does Zap do? So Zap does that. We're going to go here. I just don't want him to beat me now at this point because I'm flipping trying to get that three crown. Um, let's go Zap. How much Zap does 61. Freeze does like 39. Hmm. Let's just do this. Let's do this because he's not expecting it. There we go. We should be able to take that Inferno Tower out. Yes. Come on, baby. Take that Inferno Tower out. Oh, my gosh. I am doing horrible. Oh, my gosh. I might lose this thing. I might lose this. I thought this was going to be a super fast game, and I got all cocky. Now look at what's happening. This is embarrassing. Let's go Lumberjack right here. Hopefully, he puts his hog down or something of that nature. I'm going to put a bowler right here. That's a horrible play. I know. But we're going to go like this. Oh, that was a good play, too. What the flip? This guy sucked it at first, I thought. And then he's all good and stuff. Frick. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys. He might win. <laughs> no, he can't win. He might win. No, he can't win. Dude, he's doing really good though. If he gets that tower, I'll be so pissed. I will be so pissed. Wow, I thought this was going to be a fast game and I just flipping almost floundered it. That was embarrassing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I couldn't get the connect on that tower over there. This is way embarrassing. Wow. Anyway, let's see if we get a chest here to open up. At least we won. You know, there's that. Woo, close call. Close call, guys. Close call. Oh, we don't get a chest. We get a flipping thingy. That's unfortunate. Anyway, thanks for dropping by the channel today. That three crown draw was absolutely insane. Sweet.